I promised you that we would sew on some crazy lightweight knit trico fabric. So that's what we're going to do next. You can probably tell this is really light, stretchy stuff, which um, when I was sewing in college, which was a long time ago, <laughs> high school and college, this was really hard to do. But the machines now make it really easy. So we're gonna, the first thing we're going to do is select the type of fabric. And this is a stretch or knit lightweight, which is going to be, remember we go light to heavy, so we're going to go with D, which has the kind of loopy picture on it. And we're going to select that, and we're going to select number one. And let's take a look at the screen. So um, it's telling us now, for best results, to change to a size 75 stretch needle. I'm not going to do that today, but if I were going to be sewing on this fabric for a while, I would definitely want to change my needle. Um, I've shown you how to put a needle in, so that, <laughs> that should be a little easier to do. Okay, it has set my tension for me. When we were doing a woven medium fabric, it was set at 4.4. Right now it's going to be, now, now it's set at 4.0. Here is our presser foot pressure, and I need to change that this time. So that's this knob again over on the side, and I need to change that to the two setting. There's a little arrow right here, so I'm going to move that in so that it's on the two, lines up right with the two. Um, we're still in sewing mode and we've selected fabric D, stitch one. And then it's also telling us that uh, we need to use the A foot for this. Um, this particular stitch is moved all the way over to the left. If you don't want that, some, and some people don't, you can move it toward the center. I'm actually going to move it to the center position so that I can line that up a little a little bit easier <laughs> from this side. And then I'm going to sew just a, a, a hem on this nasty trico. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to slide that underneath the foot, put the foot down. Again, I want to make sure that my thread is pulled through the foot and to the back for best results. And I'm going to start sewing. It's going to do my, I've got it, it's set with a default fixed stitch, which I didn't mention before. Um, I'll talk about that in just a minute. But I'm going to let it sew. I don't have to push or pull, or you can see I just kind of have one finger on this fabric holding it in place. You might want to have more, but you don't, the point is you don't want to push or pull your fabric through. The machine can handle that for you. I'm going to use my scissors to cut. And I've got a nice stretchy seam. What it does is sew a nice little zig, a small zigzag so that um, you've got a little bit room of room to stretch that fabric. Because it's a stretchy fabric, that's going to happen, and you don't want your stitches to pop. So I think it does a beautiful job sewing on that really lightweight knit. 